hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically we can build out a console application inside dotnet framework which will actually upload files to the google drive folder so this is the google drive folder that i created so if you want to upload files to this folder using a dotnet command line application in visual studio 2022 so i will be showing you the script here that i written so this is works in command line so if i basically run this so let me show you the files which is present this is the two files which are present guys you will see this is the first file and the second file and if you see inside the code we have provided the path here which is 1.png 2. Dot. so these two image files will be uploaded to this folder we have also provided the folder id as well right here so now let me execute this script we will simply click this run button start so in the command line you will basically see the message popping in that file 1.png uploaded with id and then file uploaded successfully so you will see all these two image files will be uploaded right here inside our folder this is the first file which is uploaded and this is the second file so we are using basically the authentication of service account if you don't know about service account this is a special kind of authentication which allows you to interact with google api we also have oauth2 authentication which stands for open authorization where you grant uh, access token whenever user authorizes information but here we will be using a uh, service account so in both of the cases you need to go to google cloud console so all the source code of this application is given in the description of the video so you can just get the source code by going to the description of this video so just go to google cloud console and here the very first thing you need to do you need to enable the google drive api so just select your google drive api and just enable that api i have already enabled that and then you need to go to credentials and basically create a service account and inside here you can basically name your service account let's suppose anything click on create continue so after you need to authorize a role simply select owner which has all the roles and then continue and basically after this click on done so now your service account has been generated so after this what we need to do click on the pencil icon and here you need to uh, go to keys option and then you need to create a key and this will be inside json and click on create so this will basically create a private key guys so now what we need to do i will now basically create a new project so simply close this project and i will launch my visual studio ide so here you will create a new project so from the template we will basically create a dotnet console app this is the application we will create we will give it a name here which will drive auth app simply we can say drive auth app project click on create so after that guys your project will be created this will be the file structure this is the main file here you will see that and inside this we have the program class so basically guys first of all what we need to do we need to move the file so simply open this inside the file explorer and basically go to the file that you created this is a file so i will simply cut this file go to bin folder debug and here you need to paste the file which is a client secret file so here we will simply paste that file so rename this file to credentials and also whichever file that we need to upload we can simply copy all the files that we need to upload so we will simply copy these three files that we need to upload and simply go to this directory of your project bin debug and paste it here so we will rename this to one
this is 2 this is 3 so these are the three files we will upload to the google drive folder guys so we also have the credentials json file so this basically will contain the information about your project guys client id project id this information will be different so don't copy my information you need to create your own service account so you need to paste this information inside bin debug folder all this information so now we can simply write our code so how we can do that we will simply provide the path of that file which we stored which is credentials path so this is stored inside that directory so we can reference that credentials json and then basically we can say the folder id folder id is nothing but guys the folder id on which you need to upload the file so i will show you how we can do that files to upload so here we will say inside this object we will provide the paths this will be 1.jfi file 2.png and 3.png so this will be the files which will get uploaded so this needs to this can be pdf files video files image files so folder id as i already told you guys go to your google drive and simply create a folder and this is the actual folder id simply paste the folder id like this this is your folder id so all this information that we now basically guys we need to create a method which will be a static method we can call this method as upload files to google drive and here we will give credential path folder id and files to upload these three arguments will be passed here so now we need to create a method in which we will simply say static void upload to google drive i think this was the function so we need to define it outside so basically guys this takes three arguments first is our credentials path then we have our folder id and then we have files to upload so three arguments we need to pass here so this will be a string array okay i think this needs to be defined generate that yeah so we need to define it right here so this is basically a static method and uh, inside this method guys we will first of all go to we need to attach a package here right click this and manage nuget packages and we need to install a package for this which is uh, uh, drive we can say this is google apis dot drive dot version 3 this is basically the package which comes right here so simply we need to install this package so it basically it's a client library for working in dot net so you need to install this library before you start uploading the file so when you click install it will take some time it will install the dependencies which are needed click on ok and uh, that's all so after that your dependencies will be installed and now inside this function guys what we will do we will basically create a google credential we will basically using i think we need to what we need to do right here let me see uh, inside this method google credential yeah 
you can now see this is now working our API uh, dependencies were installed so Google credential and inside credential you make a variable here and inside this after this what we will say using VAD stream and we will basically instantiate a new instance of file stream and here we will pass basically the credentials path so the variable that we received and then we will use the file mode open method and we will use file access read so this basically it's opening this file which is opening credentials.json so it is actually opening it using this code that we written so after this what we need to do we need to initialize credentials to google credential dot from stream this is basically the method which is there guys we need to pass it the stream method and then we need to hook up this method which is create scoped and inside this we will say new and here we need to pass an object here which is drive service drive service dot scoped constants dot drive file So this is the thing that we need to write here, put a semicolon after that. So now after this we will create a service variable. We will actually instantiate the new instance of drive service and we will pass new base client service. And inside this base client service we will initialize initializer method so it is saying show potential let me just wait here it is new base client yeah so this is the base client service uh, it basically contains this me method initializer So put a semicolon after this and inside this we will basically define the HTTP client. So HTTP client initializer is equal to credential comma and here we need to provide a second parameter which is application name. You can give this name anything let's suppose Google Drive upload console app and after this guys uh, whatever is the paths that you have given we will use for each loop for that for all the file path that you have given in that array file paths file paths so this is I think we are receiving this files to upload so yeah so I can rename this to file paths So now you can see we are looping through each file for each file what we need to do we need to create the metadata. So metadata actually includes Google API's drive version 3 dot data dot file. We will take the actual file and after this inside this file we will get the actual name which is we will get the path of the file get file name. and also parents so parents is actually where you will be uploading this file so we will be uploading this file inside the folder id so folder id we have defined guys we are getting this folder id from here so wherever you will be uploading the file so put a semicolon right here so after this guys what we need to do You also need to put a like this. So inside this loop, 
after we define the metadata we will use this uh, class which is files resource it basically create a method uh, create media upload and we will basically make a request and then using var stream new file stream we will basically have the file path you will open this file in open mode file mode open so it is saying that creating a local variable uh, let me see here using let me paste this code once again i think i have made a mistake here okay inside what we need to do right here request service dot files dot and it contains a create method and here you will pass the metadata and the stream as well and third option will be nothing I think I have declared the stream here also I think yeah so here also I declared the stream variable okay all the source code I have given this in the description guys so what I will do uh, this function this full function I will paste it so this is basically the function guys I have copy pasted the function here you will see that after that we are just uh, uploading the file with the metadata and we are console logging the message that the file is uploaded with that ID so now if you basically the very first thing you need to do you need to basically click share and you need to grant access so as you see we have already granted some access to the this is the owner here so we can even uh, re uh, remove this also so uh, just inside your credentials json file inside your debug file basically open this file it basically contains this uh, email address that you will see i think yeah service account so here also you can find it but if you go to basically here this portion this is their actual email address you will see that you can simply copy this email address and right here simply paste this email address right here and then basically after this you can click send so now you have granted access through which you can upload files to this google drive so now if you launch this application click start so what will happen here it is saying that uh, error creating credential from json parameters let me see guys what is so now guys if i run this application so what you will see right here as i go to this uh, green button and click start so you will see basically inside our console the message will be there file uploaded with id successfully and also you can see inside this folder the image files are sub uploaded successfully so in this way you can create an, a .NET console application which will upload files to your google drive using service account authentication so all the source code is given in the description you can get it 
so thank you very much please hit that like button subscribe to channel and i will be seeing you in the next video